Kara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today, this is the first day of our Etsy SEO. We're going to do two days. First day is going to be a basic Etsy SEO, and the second day is going to be how to find unique and different keywords. Um, and we already talked about keywords that are in our shop in a previous Etsy shop refresh video. I'll make sure to link to that in the description. But today we're going to act as if we have never started an Etsy listing before. So the things you need to know are the only places that Etsy pulls keywords are from your title, your tags, and I think they pull them from materials, but I can't prove that. <laughs> so we're going to stick with title and tags for right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to list one of those uh ball caps that we've seen in the last video. So we're going to go to Etsy.com and we're going to say baseball ponytail cap. Okay. And so here we see baseball ponytail cap is the thing. Baseball ponytail, all one word cap. Now, that is self-fulfilling, right? That's what I started um, typing. So the easiest way to do this is you're going to type baseball, and then we're going to see baseball cap, right? So we know baseball cap is a stronger keyword than baseball ponytail, right? Because that is coming up number three in our search. So we want to, even though... We're going to change this around. This isn't as pleasing to us emotionally, but baseball cap ponytail is a stronger keyword than we can do. Now we also have hat, right? So we want to have in here, and I use um, commas, so we want to make sure we have hat. Okay, so what happens if we type baseball cap Okay, women. A ponytail cap mostly would be for women. So we're going to put in women. And not women's, not woman, women. Okay, let's type women, see what else comes up. And then we have custom funny Texas, Texas vintage, Texas vintage, embroidered floral distressed bling beach. So I would say... The ponytail cap would be distressed vintage. Those would be way down the line. Those may be even in tags if we run out of words because um, baseball cap women. Oh, here we go. Ponytail. This is the first time we've seen it in the search. So ponytail. Okay, since we know that that is the right exact search, we're going to say baseball cap women ponytail. I know it's not a good English, but we want to show up for that exact search. Now, let's look at what it is, right? So... It's that this is the kind I'm thinking of that we saw in that search the other day that has the kind of crisscrossies in it. Now, unisex didn't wouldn't help us at all. I don't think I don't think men are going to be buying this type of um, thing. But if we're going to use this brown ponytail cap, I do think vintage and distressed would be two good ones for that. This is the kind of the picture I had in my mind of what we're selling. Okay, high, high is the ponytail part, right? So we want um, high, oops, that's factually correct. It's for high ponytails. If you want low ponytails, you could just stick it out the back of a normal hat. Um, ponytail mesh, so the biker, so, so then you want to go into a little bit of what it is. Right, so it is a um, trucker hat. Okay, here's hat. Don't forget we had hat. So let's move it over here, trucker hat. Uh, mesh, 
trucker strap back cap. So strap back is this kind of back. So we're going to say um, mesh strap back cap. Mesh strap back cap. Okay. And I it's saying strap back is not correct. So let's do strap back. They have strap back all as one. I feel like strap back is all as one. We're gonna check that one with the Google. Scrap, strap back. We're gonna do strap back in Google. Oh, strap back is fine. See, strap back hats. That's, that's a thing. And because you're selling your own product, you're gonna know some of these things too, right? You don't want to get rid of your common sense just because you're doing Etsy SEO. So I have 49 characters left, right? So let's start and try this again. It used to be that we could do this really easy with the squares underneath, but now we need to go back and start with woman hat. Woman hat, summer. I think that's a summer hat. Summer four pony women's hats for ponytail okay so women's hats for ponytail women's hats for pony tail right so those are our super strong keywords you want your super strong keywords to be at the very front and women and woman are two different things we want to see which kind of um, searches we can find. So we're going to go woman hats for pony tail. Does anything else come up? Nope, nothing else comes up. So let's see what else we can figure out. Uh, hi pony, hi pony. Uh, yeah, we have, okay, here's one. Ponytail, all one word. Let's do ponytail, two separate words here, right? Because we don't get credit for having multiples of the exact same phrase. So I'll see people, and it used to be that you did get credit for it. So I'll see people that'll say ponytail hat, ponytail trucker hat, ponytail red trucker hat, thinking that they're going to get extra credit for those multiples. And that isn't how it works. You need to have your strongest um, phrases up front, and then you need to make sure that you have that, we'll talk about this in the tags, that repeated once, but we can use a gabillion different keywords that in this that are not just the same keywords over and over and over again. Okay, wash denim crisscross. Ooh, crisscross. That's new, crisscross, because that's the shape of that thing in the back, right? Crisscross, satin line, monograms, ponytail, baseball, messy bun. Okay, I think this is also a messy bun hat. Messy bun. Do we have cap yet? Baseball cap, that's right in the front. Okay, messy bun. Let's see what happens when we do messy bun. Messy bun. Messy bun hat. Messy bun hat. Custom for women. Pattern crochet. Messy bun hats. Oh, do we have hats? Messy bun hats. Hats, the plural. Okay, now we're running out of space. So let's take these, because I've put them in order as I've done them, and I'm going to start moving this down to my tags, okay? And we're going to talk about tags a whole bunch here in a second, but let's go ahead and plop this in our tags. I'm going to say... Uh, Distressed vintage crisscross, and I have a little bit of room there. So the first thing I want to do is take baseball cap women ponytail 
and tell Etsy that this is my most important phrase by making it also my first tag. Like if you want to rank for a hard category, you need to make sure that is right up front. And if it's too long for the 20 characters, split it up in the middle. And that way you'll have that phrase all together that they can put together. Now, about the tags, what Etsy can do is they can pull all different things. Like they could pull distressed cap, crisscross baseball. They can pick and choose amongst these other tags to help with a search. But we want to make sure we have the very best um, tags and titles that we can do. See, there wasn't a, a space there. Okay. So let's keep going. We need to find if we have messy bun hat hats for women. That kind of petered out too, right? Let's see what messy bun hats look like. Yep, see there, they're my messy bun hats. Okay, mesh ponytail, messy bun hats. Fashion, fashion is a word that we're gonna put down here in our tags. Crisscross fashion, at. Okay, cool. So I have nine tags left. So now I need to go find some more stuff. And, and if you are not spending any money to do this, there's a couple things that you can do, okay? You can go through here and go through all of them. Um, that's dad hat, maybe, polo hat, dad polo. Um, we could put some of those in here, dad polo. We can, um, I wanna make sure it looks like the one that we're doing. Uh, CC Vintage Distressed Mesh Messy Bun Cap High Ponytail Cap. Okay. We got to make sure they're not ads because I don't want to um, to confuse myself. Oh, there's there's that high ponytail with the hole in the top. Um, okay. So mine, the one that I was doing is tan, right? Brown. Uh... uh Canvas, okay, and then we would have seven left to describe that ponytail cap. Glitter, messy bun, faith, distress, there's distressed again, um, trucker hat, women's baseball cap, okay. And you can just keep doing this. I'm not gonna make you go down through every one of these. Another thing that you can do is go to the Google and use a um, extension called Keywords Everywhere. So if I do women's baseball hat high ponytail, okay, because of that Keywords Everywhere plugin, it's going to give me related keywords, okay? And so women's ponytail baseball cap crisscross high ponytail hat, hat wholesale best ponytail hat. Oh, that's a fun one. That's always a, uh, uh, so if we do brown canvas best, brown canvas best, that's a fun one because Etsy is literal about their um, their keywords. If somebody types in best ponytail hat and you have best in your keywords, it works. Um, Jeep crisscross high ponytail hat, ponytail cap, ponytail baseball cap. Okay, people also search for um, trucker. Urban, camo, crisscross, uh, Walmart, I don't want that, Jeep monogrammed, hats for ponies, how to make a ponytail hole in a hat, messy bun, so we would have gotten there through this, sun hat, I don't have sun, I don't believe, I would have been down here, so we can put that in there. 
leopard wash denim okay so the one that i had in mind might be considered wash denim all right i have six left okay glamorously vintage now i obviously can't type the name of my shop but i put the name of my shop in every one of my listings because most Etsy searchers do not know how to see in the search where it says find shops with this name. So if you don't put your shop name into your um, tags, then nobody can find it. Okay, here's our strap back, dad's hat, flat bill hat, Mitchell and Ness. Okay, this that took us a bit, but it's still, we're like 15 minutes now. I want to let you know that I use a site called Marmalade. Um, oops, I don't want to do it on this one, Marmalade. And the reason I do that is because I'm, uh, I'm fussy, right? I don't want to sit there and do that for every one of my things. So if we did women, ponytail, hat, Marmalade will give us this, um, it'll kick back a list of keywords so that I don't have to do all that work. Um, this is less than $20 a month. You don't have to have it. I literally showed you how to do it without having to use any extra thing. Um, but I do want to show you this also. Um, it'll give you pricing information, ships, shops competing. It'll give you an idea. So this is kind of the thing that I like. This is showing more, um, that's one like mine, but this is showing more crocheted ones. Um, so I might check cap, right? So women ponytail cap because they're baseball caps, right? Because I want to show up for the correct search. If I'm having a baseball cap and I'm trying to compete with a, um, a crocheted uh, winter hat, I'm not going to do as well as if I um, make sure that I'm in the right search. So now I have way more baseball caps, right? Way more. And there's mine, the one that I'm pretending to be. Okay. Now you can also see, I love this part. Are they covering the shipping price? Um, so they're not covering the shipping price. Okay, these are other hats, so you can just come through here and click on them. Maybe we add unisex, right? Maybe we add unbranded if that's what we're going for. But down here, we can do this. Um, we can see if we can find anything. So they have the scrub hats. I may want to put in, I'm going to put baseball in here because I want to get searches exact, I want to get keywords that exactly match my searches that I haven't thought of yet. Okay, let's go down here. So we've got, ooh, pony, gift, baseball cap, baseball hat, ponytail cap, trucker hat, messy bin, gift for her, so we could add gift for her, gift for her. It is not present. If you search present and gift, because we always gave presents in our house. Present gets like 10 searches a month and gifts get 11 billion. So it's never present. It's always gift. So I would say gift for her mom, daughter, wife, sister. Can we do that? Do we have enough room? Okay. I have three left. Uh, high ponytail hat, gift for her, women's hat. Boop, boop, boop. Trucker hats, distressed hats, ponytail hats, cap, women hat for ponytail. Messy bun, messy bun caps, pink. So we have the, the what color it is? Running. Ooh, my friend is a runner. Um, she's an Iron Man, so let's put that there. Running hats. Uh, beanie, I don't think it's a beanie let's look women beanie hat what the heck is that no it's not a beanie hat okay good 
uh, monogrammed hat, trucker hat, summer. Did we do summer yet? We did sun. We didn't do summer. Excellent. Summer. Summer hat. Gift for mom. So we did mom. Hair accessory. We're getting out there, but... We have a lot of keywords we're doing, right? We have a lot of searches we could show up for. Now, you may think adjustable. I love that. Adjustable. We did do. And pony cat. Adjustable. I don't know how to spell adjustable. Adjustable. And then pony cat. Adjustable. Pony cat. Okay. So there we go. All 13 used. Now. You may think, why would I go to all the trouble to do this? So if we just, oh, so let's do these questions in order. People will say, but I heard you should only have four or five words in your title. I use almost as many characters as I can in my title because Etsy is giving me that space, right? I will tell you that Google will cut it off of t at 27, but I am trying to get as many keywords in this listing as possible. I also want as many iterations. So ponytail all one, ponytail separate, pony cap, who knew, strap back cap. I want people to be able to find me. Then I have my first keyword phrase, super, super dialed in, baseball cap, women's pony. Even though it's not English correct, it's how the biggest search for exactly what I'm selling is then i'm able to rank for all these things etsy cannot extrapolate their keywords if you do not have a keyword in your listing in either the title or disc or tags they cannot do what google does and say oh cardinal you meant red bird oh you meant religious leader they can't do that. They are literal. They are exactly the, the terms you use are exactly what they're going to let you rank for. So tomorrow we're going to talk about how to get way more creative. But today that's the end of how to technically do your Etsy SEO. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobs said, marketing artfully.